Shalom from Israel. It's Rabbits and Tap. We're going to talk about Rosh Hashanah. Do you know what the words Rosh Hashanah mean? Well, the Hebrew word Rosh means head, but it also means the very beginning, the start. The word Hashanah means the year. Put that together and you get Rosh Hashanah, the start of the year. And that's exactly what Rosh Hashanah is. It's the Jewish New Year. So how do we celebrate Rosh Hashanah? One of the things we do is to take an apple, which is sweet, and we dip it into honey, which is really sweet, and then you eat it, it's super duper sweet. And that makes you smile. And that's the kind of year we want to have, sweet and happy. And since there's a whole lot of things we want to be sweet in our lives, we do a whole lot of davening. We want everyone to be healthy and safe and have enough food to eat. So we daven really, really hard that we, our family, our friends, our neighbors, everyone should have a good sweet year. And then we do something very special. Anyone know what it is? It's called a shofar. No, not a chauffeur. A shofar. Can you say shofar? Shofar. Great. A shofar is the horn of a ram. And you blow it like a horn. Hey, wait a second. Maybe that's why the word horn means something you blow, and it also means the horn on an animal. Because the very first horns in the world were made from animal horns. And what do we do with the shofar on Rosh Hashanah? We blow it. Blowing the shofar is mentioned lots of places in Tanakh. In fact, when the Torah talks about Rosh Hashanah, it's called Yom Teruah, the day of shofar blowing. And why do we blow the shofar on Rosh Hashanah? Well, what happens when you blow a horn? People wake up! And the truth is, sometimes we walk around the world kind of sleepy. No, not really asleep. Just that we're so busy with all the little things in life, sometimes we forget about the big things. Like the things we talked about before, making sure everyone in the world is healthy, happy and safe and making sure we remember that being a good person, being kind and caring and nice to everyone is the most important thing we can do. And so we blow the shofar lots of times to wake ourselves up and remember all the good things we want to do this year so we can make this year the best one yet. So what do you think? You want to hear the shofar? Yeah! Did somebody say they want to hear the shofar? Wow, you brought a real shofar. What a great surprise. Okay, everybody, say, Takiya! Takiya! Now say, Shvarim! Shvarim! Now say, Trua! Trua! Okay, here's the big one. Say, Takia Gadola. Takia Gadola. Wow. Great job, everybody. Now, there's one other thing you need to know about Rosh Hashanah. When you see people on Rosh Hashanah, you say the greeting, Shana Tova, which means, I hope you have a good year. Now yell out, Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Very good. So now you guys know so much about Rosh Hashanah. It's the time we eat apples and honey and pray for a very sweet new year. It's the day we blow the shofar and it's when we say a big Shana Tova to all our friends. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Happy Rosh Hashanah and a very sweet year to everyone. Shalom, Shalom from, from Israel. Israel.